the clash between Randy Costa and Jordan Nielsen is probably going to happen on September 26th and uh, car location of course it's unknown expected uh, to take place at the UFC Apex in Las Vegas but nobody knows I mean due to this COVID crisis but let's analyze fighters Randy Costa right on a score of 5-1-0 now under the nickname of Zohan Randy Costa is the former cage titans champ who punched out everybody to sleep in the first round Superb knockout artist, great kicker, great body puncher, great body striker, great knees. I mean, he is an example of a world-class striker. He turned the lights out on Stacey Anderson, Kenny Lewis, Chris Thorne and Rob Fuller before UFC inked his contract. Then he was choked out by Brandon Davis. Then he also stopped Boston Selman, Boston Selman who was... Uh, who was annihilated by, uh, by an illegal knee to the head at the latest LFA event. So, if you want an elite striker, that's Randy Costa. The real master of striking. And uh, this guy out of Tenton, Massachusetts is definitely going to put on a show. Jordan Newsom. Well, this guy is an intriguing fighter fighting out of Porto, Portland, Oregon. Looking back at his records, Jordan Newsom. It's pretty much cardio machine and great submission guy, just superb submission guy. You don't want to go to the ground with him, triangle choke, guillotine choke. Kind of reminds in some sections at Alexei Olenik and he is also very very good at TKO ability, punching opponents on the ground and controlling the fighters in the clinch, controlling on the ground and so on. In his last outing you know that Domingo Pilarte, this controversial overhand right led to no contest. Got to say, I was kind of surprised with that outcome, but alright, things happen and uh, got to say, it was kind of shocking to me that it happened. Uh, Jordan Houston also took part in a boxing bout against Shea Green, where he lost the uh, split decision, so he can trade punches, he can trade shots, but Randy Costa definitely has better kicks, better knee ability better strikes of the clinch, even good elbows. So when it comes to striking, Jordan Nielsen is weaker opponent. He lost to Ricardo Ramos via anonymous decision, but looking back at this record, I think Jordan Nielsen has better cardio, better ground game, and better transitions on the ground, while Randy Costa is a better striker. Of course, this is a 50-50 battle, but if Randy Costa gets taken to the ground, He'll probably lose this fight on the other side. He might turn the lights out on Jeremy Nielsen, especially if he worked on his takedown defense. And I believe uh, Randy Costa worked a lot on this takedown defense, so I'd give him very slight advantage. I hope he will stop uh, Jeremy Nielsen from taking him down. Other, otherwise, if Jeremy Nielsen takes him down, that's going to be a victory for Nielsen. But anyway, I'd give very, very slight edge, very slight edge to very slight touch to Randy Costa. I don't think this will go to judges' scorecards or decision. It's gonna be stopped way before.